Today we're going to look at a software package for the iPad for doing video editing called Pinnacle Studio. So let's open that up. And this is the dashboard for Pinnacle Studio. So let's start a new project. Let's just call it uh, Demo. And I've brought all my clips in. I'm just going to make a quick uh, house video. So let's bring this down. I'm just dragging into the timeline. Oops. And now I'll just bring one more little clip in. And there we go. So uh, this is my house video. This clip, so I've got my videos now on the timeline and you can see there is a transition here. Uh, what I can do is this clip is 12 a little over 12 seconds long. That's a little bit long. I kind of like my clips around four seconds. So I can see up top here, if you can, I'm playing around with, there we go, four, four seconds. Oop. That's close enough. So now I'm going to touch on the little razor blade and I just split that. I'm going to drag the piece I don't want away. So now I'm left with a little four second clip here. And got my transition. Again, I'm back to the other clip, which is, let's stop that. I can see it's 8.22 seconds, which is a little too long. So I'm going to get that back to, let's see. So I can see, if I look at the, the, uh, the playhead, I'm just a little over four seconds. That's that orange line. So I want to bring that out to about, that's close enough. That's going to give me another four second clip. Click on the razor blade. And now I'm going to get rid of the piece I don't want. Drag it into here. So now I have a video that is, and I can see at the bottom of the timeline, it's just over eight seconds. Usually I like each clip to be four to five seconds, not any longer than that. So. Uh, the cool thing about this is it gives you some ability to put some different, uh, they call them montages. Now they don't have these for iMovie. This is one of the things I like about this program over iMovie. So let's just do, uh, I'm just going to do this real quick. We'll just add this one here. And when we play it, let me just play this real quick. That's what the motion looks like. Now the one and two would be places that I could put a picture in. So let's stop this and let's go back to photos. And I'm just gonna drag some photos in. Um, so what you do is you just, I'm just gonna grab some pictures of my daughter. And once you see that little cross here, you just drop them in. And Let's go to the two, and we'll drop a picture of my aunt with my daughter in here. Obviously, if you have house pictures, I would put those in. So let's go back and watch how this works. Now, I don't know that you would want that for a house video, but you can definitely do that. So uh, again, let's stop this. Now, I probably want to transition between this montage and this opening clip. So let's put the, the title clip here. Uh, let's do a, here's the transition. So I'm just gonna drag it over to here, drop it in where the playhead is. And now I have a transition. Uh, one of the things you need to do in Pinnacle is to render the video. In iMovie, it's automatically doing that behind the scenes. So now if you're on an older iPad, it can take a little bit longer. The newer ones have a little bit better processing power. This is an iPad 2, so 
a little bit slow, but not, not too bad. And this should be just about done. All right. So now, let's see, we'll play that. It's going to give me that uh, feature. You can see the, there's my transition back to the video. And maybe I want to put in an ending. So I can do, I can put a little ending clip in. Let's just use this one. Add this here. Uh, there's my text. Bring up my keyboard. And this is where you could put, you know, call me at this phone number like that. So here, let's here we go again. Telling me I need some rendering, so I'm going to click on there again. Oop. Uh, I can change the font. Uh, how about that? Change the color. Maybe I want something a little brighter. All right. Done. And now let's render again. And here's our video. Oop. Let's see what that looks like going through. Nice. Uh, so if you if you don't have a MacBook, I, I like to I like editing on my MacBook Pro, which is one of the reasons I got the MacBook was just for doing video. I do like my PC. I just found the editing for video to be much more cumbersome. However, Pinnacle Studio, they, they make a version for your PC that is very similar to this. Uh, as you can see, this was fairly simple compared to iMovie. Uh, in some ways, it has more features to iMovie, uh, but this will do a very good job for your editing on your PC. So you can just uh, Google Pinnacle Studio and uh, the, you can actually get a 30-day free trial of the program to see if you like it first. Uh, I think the it's, they have three different versions, anywhere from sixty to about one hundred and thirty dollars. Really good, and that way uh, you can do all your video video editing on your PC. Um, so anyway, great program. Uh, works great on uh, works great on the on the iPad, as you can see. However, if I were going to pick a video editor for my iPad, I still think I like iMovie. Uh, the point of this was just to demonstrate Pinnacle Studio. Uh, and there's there's definitely a place, some of the montages you can do some cool things with that I, iMovie does not have. Uh, but again, for the, you know, the main purpose of this video is to demonstrate Pinnacle Studio, very similar functionality on the PC as the iPad, and a great option for PC users that want to do you know, some serious video editing. Uh, thanks for stopping by. This is Dave Mason uh, with Grand Canyon Title. Stay tuned for more tips and tutorials. Thank you.